there boys and girls. Today we're talking about curly hair, so you can have your hair done just like mine. Or if you're African American, you can get your hair did. You know how your boyfriend usually says to you, what I do in the shower is not your business. Well that couldn't be any further from the truth in this case. What you do in the shower is very important. I always start off using a paddle brush like a lot of people with curly hair. It's the only thing that really gets through it. I detangle with this. If I must shampoo, as you guys know, I use my mixed chicks shampoo and I smoke this mostly on the top and then I can of course lather the rest of it. After I shampoo, if I must, once every 7 to 10 days, then I go for the conditioner. I use mixed chicks conditioner again, as you can see, almost done. The difference in the shampoo and the conditioner should tell you the difference of usage for me. So after I condition, I then take a small tooth, kind of wide tooth comb, and I comb it through my hair. I leave it in for a minute or so, and I rinse that bad boy out. And then, the new thing that I now do is I found this really cool product by Olive Oil. It's called Olive Oil Shine Moisturizer, Hollywood Styles. I put this in my hair while I'm in the shower. I focus a lot on my roots in the middle of my hair. That's where my hair is the most dry. And this is oily. Look at that. Look at that oily bad boy. And it smells pretty good too. So after I finish putting in the olive oil, I then take the comb again and I re-comb through my hair. Now after I do this, I no longer let the water touch my hair. Once I finish the second comb through, I then squeeze my hair a lot in the shower and scrunch it through and try to massage it through. I don't let my hair dry on its own. After it's in the towel, I immediately take out the towel and then I get my mixed chicks leave-in conditioner and I put one or two pumps and just work it through the entire hair. Again, I don't like brush my hair really at this point, I just kind of like lightly tossle it. And then as you guys know, as I've mentioned a million times before, I go through this really meticulous phase of picking out any hairs that I think are frizzy or like not doing well. And then I give them one or two little bits, like a dime size mix chick, run it all the way through and then do the twisty twirly thing. So then after I've done all this, I then get out my blow dryer and I blow dry my hair upside down and against the grain. So if I want to part it this way, I blow dry it this way. If I want it to go backwards, then I blow dry it forwards. So I'm all done blow drying my hair now, and as you know from any kind of heat you put in your hair, stuff can look a little bit crispy after that fact. So I've got myself a new product that I use, which is Soft and Sheen Kerosene Shea Butter Green Tea. It smells like ass. Oh damn. Now this is like chicken grease. And look at the inside. This is such a thick, juicy, conditioning cream and I put this on any pieces that look super fried so if there's some pieces in the middle that look like frizz city and there, there's no curl in sight I put this on it and at the top if any of the pieces got like over dry I add this again as well too and I find that with prolonged use of this my hair just naturally looks more juicier more healthier so it smells like ass but it does the trick so I recommend this product now the last thing that I use, I don't think and or know if it does a damn thing, but it's called Diva Curl Set It Free. It's a spray. See this spray right there? It smells like Skittles. It's legit, it's so delicious smelling, and I want to smell like candy because I, I think the boys like candy. So I put this in my hair last but not least, more so just to smell like a convenience store rather than actually doing something. But the Diva Curl line in itself, I have all of their stuff, and it's pretty good. So I might try that after Mixed Chicks is done. I lie. There is one more thing that I actually now do. I went to my local pharmacy and I bought these. They're all over my hair right now. Okay. So these are basically like butterfly clips. They're really small. It's like a miniature version of this bad boy right here. And I put them like throughout my hair, get against the grain to give it a little bit more extra lift. So I find that all day long I'm always tossing my hair like, come on! So I just add these in wherever. I can always do this right here. I add them in to the root of things just to give my hair an extra lift, a little bit more volume. They cost like three bucks and uh, it's done wonders for my self confidence. So, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to share a story with you guys. So, last week I was in Vancouver for work and there's not a lot of people who are Japanese or white. I'm going to straight say, if you're not Japanese or white, you probably don't live in Vancouver. So, people were actually like giving me the weird eye. I haven't experienced that in a long time. They're like, she's new. So, everywhere I go, I'm kind of like an exhibit. People were just watching me like, one lady comes up to me and she was like, oh my god, I love your hair, it's so fun, oh, it's so springy and big, but I bet you hate your hair, huh? I bet you wish you had hair like mine, don't you? Huh? And I feel bad for that lady because I honestly had like a proclamation of how much I love my hair in front of her and she was just trying to walk by. So I was like, actually, if I had your hair, we wouldn't be having this conversation because I'd be in my room crying. 
crying and praying for my old hair back. I love my hair. It's fun. It's versatile. I can do whatever I want with it. It's beautiful. It's natural. And first of all, most importantly, and last of all, it's my hair. And, you know, everybody was cheering. Well, nobody was cheering, but in my mind, it was like, woo. I picture all of you guys there in the audience just standing around all of a sudden, slow clapping. And that's basically it. At this point now where I love my hair, I figured out what works for me. I'm always trying new things and experimenting with it. And the bigger, the better. So I hope you guys are also enjoying your curly hair and loving yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, then I guess your life sucks. I don't, I'm not supposed to end that. Later. Take him to the jungle. Go, 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 go.